Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Teddy Bee's Wax Company haul. This is a new vendor to me and I'm gonna go ahead and give credit where credit is due. Sasha sent me to this vendor. As soon as I saw her video on Teddy Bee's, I was like, holy crap, like this stuff looks really good. Sasha has a real knack for going out and finding new vendors and good ones. Like they're actually good vendors. This is what really pulled me into this company when I saw her video and she was showing her products and stuff. I was like, whoa, I'm like, let me just check this out real fast. So she had had a restock and I kind of missed it. So I kind of came in on the tail end, but she is having a restock this Saturday. I don't know if this video is going to be uploaded by then. I'll try to remember to get it uploaded by then. So if you guys are interested in checking out the restock, uh, she's got a lot of good scents coming up and every single sample I got except for one made me go back in and place another order. So that, yeah, so I have kind of like a part two coming. It's a second order, but whatever. Okay, so this is the card. It's just a square card, super cute. She has an Instagram, Facebook. I usually, when I find a new to me vendor, the first place I go is her Facebook group page because that's usually where you can find out all the info. Tiffany Smith is the owner. And let me tell you, her box, okay, the paper, I can't show you, but her paper matches the, the, paper these things <laughs> let me just show you these all match like they're all matching the paper the tissue paper inside all of the product looks really pretty just super impressed with presentation so there's her card all right let's get into the samples because these are all really good so the first thing I got I've, now I've had this package for a little bit so it's kind of been like sitting around the first sample I got is granny's house and I don't have some descriptions for everything because honestly I was lazy Pretty sure this is some sort of zucchini, pie crust, something or another. Cinnamony, kind of cinnamony, not like red hot cinnamon, but bakery cinnamon. This one's really good. I think I grabbed some more of this because I was like, yes. <laughs> okay, I was going to grab a scent description for this and I forgot. Cute as a button. So this one smells really good as well. She has this bee emblem going on. I like how it sticks with her theme. I don't know what this is, but it, it was good. So I hope she's having this at the restock because that would be one I would definitely grab. The next one, oh my gosh, okay. I don't love apple mango, tang apple mango tango, but this is mahogany teakwood and gain apple mango tango. This smells so freaking good. I, sorry, I'm like, this smells so good. <laughs> but it really does. I do not like apple mango tango, but this one is just like a subtle, it's like you really get that manly mahogany teak wood and then you get just a hint of apple mango tango. It's not overbearing because a lot of times apple mango tango is really overbearing to me. Oh, this is such a pretty scent. I, in fact, I went back and got a bag of that. So this next one is Seaside Siesta. This is probably the only one I don't like only because I don't like, is it Golden Sands? I kind of like Golden Sands, but it has to be mixed right. So this one is, I think it was like suntan lotion, ew, coconut, ew, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's got that suntan lotion type of scent. Kind of, it kind of reminds me of Golden Sands. Okay, I did do this one. <laughs> I did do scent descriptions for this one, so I plan on doing the scent descriptions for everything this weekend, but you're just going to have to hang with me here. But Cedarwood, moss, pine, co pine cones, orchid, jasmine, vanilla, sugar crystals. So this one on the description, I don't know that I would like this one on the description, but in the sample bag, it smells really nice. It smells like a very girly, sophisticated, yeah, it, I think mostly what's coming through here is the orchid and the vanilla sugar crystals because I don't know that I'm smelling like cedar wood or like a moss. I don't know what pine cones is. I'm, I'm sure I've had it at some point in my life, but... Oh, it's so funny when I say that because now I can kind of smell earthy, but it's, it's more like a girly scent. Really, really pretty. So this one I hope to get in the restock as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into, you know what, let me show you this first because when I saw this, I was like, what the hell? Look at how freaking cute these clamshells are. Like, I have never seen an eight-piece clamshell. <laughs> I When I saw this on Sasha's channel, I was just like, whoa. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was... 
unique and different. So this is Morning Cup of Spice. This is smooth blend of coffee, caramel, cinnamon, and vanilla buttercream. So this is obviously gonna be a spicy coffee. So you just open her up like that and she's got it pretty like drizzled. And that's what it is. It reminds me, oh gosh, who has this scent? It's very similar to another, like if you've ever had spicy coffee, that's pretty much what it is. You can really smell the, it's like cinnamon, it says cinnamon, but it's more like just spicy to me. It's not, it doesn't necessarily read as cinnamon. That one's pretty, I can't wait to get it in a warmer. I do mostly sweet coffees, but sometimes it's nice to just switch it up with a spicy coffee. Okay, these are her, what are these called? Her drizzle melts. I think it's a six pack of drizzle melts and this is in sugar pop. This is sugar cane, grapefruit, bubbly citrus, greenery, light florals, hint of vanilla. And those are super cute. Oh, and you guys know I love like my grapefruit scents. This has a little bit of that greenery in there as well. Sweetness and fizzy pop scent to me. This one's very interesting. So I really like that. that she mixed those things together. That's kind of a unique scent to me. I mean, it reads mostly fizzy pop. Well, it's fizzy pop, but it, you can smell the other things in there. Don't get me wrong, it's not all fizzy pop. Okay, the next thing I grabbed is what I love about Sunday. This is lavender, jasmine, rose petals, white lilies, and vanilla musk. And she did these two, like this one's a tile, this one's like a circle. So this is like a laundry slash Oh, this is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Like all the intricate designs in there. I love that. So this definitely is floral, but I think it's a floral I can do because it's more of like, I think I'm smelling maybe more of like the white lilies and vanilla musk. It's definitely a laundry scent. Okay, so this one is cotton candy fizzy cakes. And this is birthday cake, cotton candy, guava, and fizzy citrus. Super cute on top. Like just her attention to detail and everything is like really great. Oh, and this one smells really good. It's like, well, obviously it's got birthday cake, cotton candy, guava, fizzy citrus. So it's like fizzy pop with that birthday cake in there. I like the birthday cake. Really nice scent. You can pick up the guava or maybe it's a citrus kind of scent in there that kind of helps the guava come out a little bit, but I really like that one. The next one I have is a brown sugar waffle cone. This is vanilla wafer waffle cone, light brown sugar, and a hint of blueberries and vanilla. This is another one of her six pack, uh, what are these called again? Six pack drizzle melts. This one, ha okay, so I don't love blueberries. I can smell the blueberries just a little bit, but it's toned down so much that you just get a hint of blueberries. This is the kind of blueberry that I like. The kind that's not so strong that it's just like, I warmed a, blue, a straight blueberry scent a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I hate blueberries, like hate. This one is just very light in there. It's more about the waffle cone and brown sugar. And it, the blueberries gives it a nice little different touch. Oh, that smells so good, I love that. I'm gonna do my Hot Mess Express with the collaboration I'm doing with Angie Wax Goddess. We're doing our wax collection rooms, I guess, and mine's real bad. So she also had this on the site, which is a, it's like a two-toned, I think she called them, I don't remember, but it's an Easter egg, huge. So it's got brown sugar waffle cone and sweet summertime, and dang it all if I can't remember what the hell sweet summertime is right now. I can't remember what sweet summertime is, but it's really good. This vendor has a knack for having like so far what I've noticed is all of her like kind of floral girly scents are really just that. Like they're really pretty. And her mahogany, um, what was that called again? Uh, teakwood tango or tango teakwood is real good. So I keep saying real good <laughs> like over and over again, but I'm just super excited. So this one has a bakery note and then it also has like a really like girly, again, girly note to it. 
Next time I will try to have, make sure I have scent descriptions so I can tell you what everything is. If you watch my second video, my second haul, I think I got Sweet Summertime in like a one pack or something, you know, where it has a scent description so I can tell you. I did grab some scent shots. Now, her scent shots, there is, if you look on her site, somewhere it says under the scent shot area, if you enter in the code free shot, you get a free shot if you order, I don't remember if it's like five or six, you get like the sixth one free or something. Check her website for sure because I don't, I can't tell you for sure. So it's five o'clock somewhere. This is like lime margarita, lime and something else. That is, I love lime margarita scents. Those are some of my favorite scents. This one will be really good. So that's that. I like the option to purchase scent shots. That way you can try some things out as well. This is blackberry butter pecan cookie, uh, cookies. It smells so good. You know, this is a nice take on blackberry jam butter cookies. It gives it a little bit of a different smell with the, with the pecan in there. You know, that actually, because I am not loving blackberry jam butter cookies now lately, but with that pecan in there, that smells really, really good. I would like to see more people add pecan to their blackberry jam butter cookies. That is real good. Tiff's favorite lavender. I think this is, this is a sweet lavender. It's lavender and like coconut milk. Oh, there's something else and I can't remember. It's a good lavender. It, it's got a little bit of an herbal scent to it, but it's sweetened up by that coconut milk. And I think maybe it's like vanilla or something else she put in here to kind of sweeten it up. I kind of have a love-hate with lavender. Sometimes I really like lavenders and sometimes I just, they're not for me, but it's okay. Cinnamon toast. Again, I was just trying to try a range of scents. Usually when I order from a new vendor, I've said this before, I like to try a range of scents. This is definitely cinnamon. I can see this one being really good in the fall. Blankets by the Bonfire. Sasha hauled this one and I can't remember what exactly was all in it, but she liked it, so I was like, eh, I'll grab it. Oh, this one's good. So when I think of Blankets by the Bonfire, I think of like maybe a marshmallow fireside or like, what's the other one that's just like a straight, <sighs> what is the one that is just like a fire scent? I don't know. I'm not getting a lot of that. This is more like a clean, like laundry, soapy. Maybe there's a hint of like a smoky smell, but like not bad, not a bad smoke. This one's real pretty. Okay, and then I have churro cakes, which I have been loving churro scents. That is just straight churro. It's kind of got the doughy, bready note, but it's real light. It's more of like the cinnamon sugar topping that you put over the top or that's sprinkled on top. That's nice. Okay. And then the last one I have is frosted sugar cookie. That's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know if there was a scent description for that one or not. I'm sure there's something, but... She also says when you take her scent shot, shots out to wiggle the sides, otherwise they come out, if you don't, if you try to push on the bottom, like they come out weird, like not weird, but it kind of breaks up the scent shot. Oh, that's good. Oh, I swear this brings back a memory of something I've had from another vendor. So, you know, it's real easy to get confused because, you know, a lot of the vendors buy oils from the same companies, not the exact same ones, but... Oh, that's good. That's almost kind of like, it's almost got like a, not a cinnamon note, but almost like a brown sugar in there or something. I don't know. It almost smells like a, is it Danish cookie? Like a Danish butter? I don't know. That one's good though. That is a really nice cookie scent. I really like that. So that is that. Okay. So that was my first order that I placed with her. I will come back and do part two because I loved this samples so much I went ahead and grabbed a second order while there was still some stuff in stock. I did notice after Sasha did her video though, <laughs> after I went back in to go try to grab some of the ones that she had talked about, uh, there was, there were, they weren't there. <laughs> they were gone. So I kind of blame Sasha for emptying out the site um, from her video. So 
there's that. But uh, she is having a restock on Saturday, and she is going to she is going to restock some of those scents that sold out, which is nice. And she looks like she's going to have a lot of scent shots. So check out her Facebook group and get in there and check her out. I think she's going to be a really great vendor to look at or be on the lookout for. She seems to have something a little bit different. I feel like her I feel like her aesthetic is different than other people I have seen and I feel like she's got some different shapes and that kind of thing that you don't really see from other vendors. Or maybe there is and I just don't know about it because, you know, I, I for a while I was just sticking to like really my tried and true. I've said that before though, but now I'm kind of like branching out a little bit and giving other things a try. But I've said all that already, so <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you in my next video. And thank you guys again so much for watching. If you do order from this vendor, let me know and let me know what you think. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.